this is our first piece of uh, video art. I know it doesn't look like a video because I have two pictures for you, but I will show you guys the video in just a few minutes. I wanted to give you some background on the artist, Bill Viola. This dates from 1996, and the, the medium is supposed to be video and sound installation. So as early as the 1970s, Viola was one of the first visual artists to make use of new video technologies. He worked as an assistant curator at the Everson Museum of Art, where he was exposed to the work of Nam June Pike, who we're going to talk about next, and Peter Campus, artists who were early innovators in the emerging field of video art. Eventually, Viola conceived of a multi-channel and immersive installations where viewers are surrounded by carefully arranged screens and projections, often displayed in an otherwise pitch black room. Between 1974 and 1976, Viola lived in Italy, where religious paintings and sculptures are often displayed in situ, which is one of our vocab words. I hope you know what it means by now. In the cathedrals for which they were commissioned, the continuing integration of historical art into contemporary public and religious life inspired Viola to design installations that mimicked the form of devotional paintings the diptychs, the predellas, and altarpieces, formats that encourages intimate contemplation of religious icons. Now, Viola is a devoted practice, practitioner of Zen Buddhist meditation. He has explained that over 50 minutes of quiet stillness in a room of solitary individuals, time opens up in an unbelievable way. He is very interested in religion and then also the use of water and all its symbolic meanings, which we've talked about throughout this course. He almost drowned as a child, so for him, water has that powerful and spiritual transcendence association. A near-death experience will change his view on life. For Viola, water acts as a barrier between this world and the next, suggesting a search for the meaning of existence. And he refers to his work as sculpting time. And so he makes use of a lot of slow-mo or slow motion as a result. Time as a basic material film and video, the mechanics of it may be cameras, film stock, and tape. But you are working with is time. You are creating scenes that are going to unfold on some kind of rigid channel that is embroidered in a strip of tape or celluloid. And that thing is coiled up as a potential experience to be unrolled. In a certain way, it is like a scroll, which is one of the most ancient forms of communications. It's similar to meditation in that he wants us to focus on the present moment, zeroing in on the subject in order to perceive it more precisely. He addresses the world beyond or beneath our first glance. He intends to enable the viewer to immerse itself in the image, a symbol expressed by the recurrent metaphor of a body plunging into water. So the crossing is actually a double projection on opposite sides of a 16 foot screen. So it would be seeing the man on fire on one side of the screen and the man with the water on the other side of the screen. As he begins with the water, a drop of just a drop starts to fall and then it grows in size as the man moves forward until at last there's a deluge of water or just a pouring of water that washes him away. And then the same thing happens, I'll get to the other one in a second, but the soundtrack goes from just like a small dripping noise into a torrential roar which helps emphasize the force of the piece. On the reverse screen, a similar scenario unfolds, except this time the man in the background um, has tiny flames looking at his feet and eventually grows into a wild mass that engulfs him as the sound of fire grows in intensity. The dualities around which our physical existence revolves are demonstrated through the depiction of fire combined with water, polarities that humans struggle to balance. Viola projects his images in slow motion, demanding the viewer um, be a patient, like to be patient in their response. And in both cases, the act of looking is one of retrospection and meditation. 
Symbolically, water and viola is the crossing exists as a primordial element that intersects the ordinary world of time and space and another perhaps spiritual realm. The figure's eventual disappearance alludes to the element's transformational properties. But Viola is only interested in the way vision informs perception. There also is only one soundtrack. So the same sounds that's happening with the water, the drip of the water, is the same sound that you're hearing as the flame licks at the feet. And then again, the roar that happens at the end is the water pouring down and the flames engulfing the man. So with using double footage, there's the man is you know never actually on fire or covered in water, but they use a dummy to get the interaction with the elements in the human form. So let me see if I can get this on so you guys can see the videos. So moving over to YouTube to show you guys this. Okay, I wanted to narrate. I didn't want to narrate that. I mean, because I wanted you guys to see uh, what the video looks like because you're supposed to see it without any voice or you're just supposed to meditate like that. And so Bill Viola um, is still creating uh, video installations. In fact, when I was in London a few years ago in um, St. Paul's Cathedral, which is uh, I think it was built in 1666. It's one of the most beautiful cathedrals. It's the one where Mary Poppins, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, but um, the steps where uh, she sings, uh, or he sings one of the songs, is the, the, the steps of St. Paul's. It's one of the most famous landmarks. Anyway, inside he has um, a video installation called The Martyrs. And I would recommend that you guys go on YouTube and look at the martyrs because it's a it's a really more of a social association or a social critique on um, the different types of uh, capital punishment. And so the fact that it's put inside a cathedral and it's a modern art mon you know, video installation, it was really cool to see in person, but it's also really cool to see on YouTube. So I invite you guys to look at that. So that is The Crossing by Bill Viola.